smoky fire in a hole. Let's cook a squash. What do you say, a squash? What? Just shut up and watch the video. So yeah, this is an acorn squash. Just in time for Thanksgiving, I'm gonna make this really good side dish for you. This is an acorn squash that I cut in half and took the seeds out of it. You can see that, right? I cut the stem and the bottom of it off so it'll lay flat on the grill. We're gonna hit it with some Sang stir fry oil, just like that. A Little bit of Sang's on there. A little bit of Tango Joe's Midnight Espresso. That's the best spice for uh, acorn squash that I found. We'll just sprinkle a little bit of that on there. You might have seen me do this before because I've done squash before. Almost every time I cook a chicken, I cook up a squash. My wife really likes these. We're going to stuff this one. First we're going to cook it. We're going to put it on the grill on indirect heat. It takes about 30 to 40 minutes for that thing to, uh, sorry, it takes about 30 or 40 minutes for that thing to cook up on indirect heat. And in the meantime, we'll whip up that uh, stuffing. So stay tuned. Okay, while my squash is cooking up over there, on the indirect side, we're going to put some sangs in a skillet. Throw some sangs in the bottom of that skillet. Get that hotted up a little bit. And to that, we're going to put some uh, garlic. About a heaping tablespoon of minced garlic. Because we like it. Yep. And some onion. Diced onion, some celery, and some red bell pepper. You might recognize that as the Cajun Holy Trinity. We're going to get that sauteed up a little bit. Yeah, it's looking good already. Okay, so since we're uh, making squash, we're going to stuff the squash with some uh, sausage. Now, if you're a vegetarian or if you just don't dig on swine, you don't have you can skip the next step and you can just put some uh, chicken in here or you could put some leftover turkey. This would be great with some leftover turkey. Uh, but what I'm going to put in here is some pork sausage because we like pork sausage. So uh, let me get my veggies cooked out a little bit. I'll show you what that looks like. Stay tuned. Okay, my veggies have softened up quite a bit. We're going to put a little bit more of that uh, Tango Joe's Midnight Espresso on there. Good seasoning. It's going to be the theme for this one, Midnight Espresso. Then we're going to take some pork sausage and drop that right in the middle of that. And we're going to brown up that pork sausage in there. And uh, that's our stuffing for our squash. So once we get that sausage cooked up, browned up, uh, our, sauce, our squash has to sit on there on indirect heat about 30 to 40 minutes, like I said. Get our sausage cooked up browned up and uh, then we'll stuff our squash. Don't that look good enough to eat already? Yes it does. You can hear it cooking. Okay if you don't, like I said, if you don't like, if you don't dig on swine, you don't want pork in your uh, stuffing, you can just put chicken or you can put turkey or you can put nothing, no meat at all. If you just wanted some veggies, in fact, you know, uh, vegetarians live six to eight years longer than meat eaters. Six to eight miserable, baconless years. But that's none of my business, you know? To each his own. If you don't want to eat pork, you don't dig on swine, that's your business, right, Sandra? So anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to say it. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's my stuffing for our acorn squash this makes a great side dish for a thanksgiving dinner i think you could make uh you know a bunch of these and give everybody an individual serving and they get their uh get all the food groups right there you got pork the trinity the garlic 
the whole business. So we're gonna finish cooking that up and then we'll stuff our sausages when they're done. We're gonna put some Gruyere cheese on there too, get it all melty. So uh, while those things are cooking, I think we should drink a beer, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Okay, I'll bring you right back. Let's drink a beer. There's the Frosty Root Boy mug. Rapidly defrosting Frosty Root Boy mug. And here's today's beer. Kentucky Kolsch style. A full flavored Kolsch style ale. Uh, something about a form of the German beer style originating in Cologne, Germany. This is what Roll and my friend Marcus from Germany, this is what they drink, not Kentucky Kolsch, but they drink a Kolsch. Kolsch style beer is what they like. Roll likes this Kolsch, and uh, Marcus likes the Kolsch. And when they reach for a beer, it's not Budweiser, it's a Kolsch. So there's your Kolsch. It's a beautiful lemon yellow looking beer. And I don't know what to expect too much from the Kolsch. Let's see what it smells like. Let's take a sniff of that. Hardly any head at all. Well, you can smell hops and barley, of course, because that's what's in beer, not rice. Hops and barley. And uh, let's, uh, there's no froth to quaff, Roll. I don't know what to tell you. I guess the Kentucky style has no froth. Let's take a taste. Hmm. It's got a nice flavor. It's, uh, I think it's light on the alcohol. I don't know what it is. I can't see it. Oh, 4.3%. That's nothing. That's almost like light beer. So there's my beer for today. The Kentucky Kolsch. It tastes pretty good. Ah, 4.3. It's very sessionable. Okay. Let's go uh, stuff our squash. Stay tuned. Okay, my acorn squash are done. So what we're going to do now is spoon some of that uh, stuffing in to them. Like so. Don't that look good? This one here got a little too soft. But that ain't going to stop me. I'll stuff them anyway. I'm going to heap that stuff up in there. Get it nice and stuffed up. There we go. It's looking good, huh? Make a nice side dish for Thanksgiving, wouldn't it? You could, uh, like I said, you could make one of these for every guest on your list. And uh, that would be good. So what I'm going to do now is I got some uh, shredded Guayir cheese. And we're going to put that shredded Guayir on top of there like that. Pile that on. You can never have too much cheese in my opinion. Shredded Guayir. Don't that look good? I probably could have put some more as a matter of fact. And we're going to stick that back on the grill and get that a little bit melty for you. And uh, you know I'm not going to eat that crap. I got some uh, I got some uh, uh, smoked sausage that I'm going to eat for myself uh, and some slasa that I'm going to have. So uh, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Alright, those uh, that Guayir cheese is melted up. It smells really good. That stuffing tastes really good. I tasted it. There's a little bit right there. Mmm. Delicious. What a great side dish this is for Thanksgiving. Just in time. If you like this crap, I'm going to get some of that stuffing in my mouth. Mmm. Good stuff. So like I always say, if you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, go over and see Grilling and Chilling with Big Sexy. Got a new channel going. You might like some of the stuff he's doing. In the meantime, everybody have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm making a turkey, but the video won't be ready till uh, the beginning of next week. So we're going to make that a uh, Christmas turkey instead of a Thanksgiving turkey. And this is my Thanksgiving video. So like I said, happy Thanksgiving. Come back next week 
We may not cook anything good, but we will drink a beer. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Cheers to you.